going on guys so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to the rifle range and I have a brand new rifle it's been a long time since I've actually done a gun review or a shooting or anything so today I got a brand new rifle well I got it yesterday and I also have a brand new scope now this scope uh, is kind of like what I'm gonna do the review on it is a Bayuchi. I got it on Amazon and we'll talk a little bit more about oh the bumps we'll talk a little bit more about it as we um, I guess go along but right now I just want to say it is a 3 by 12 by 40 and it seems to be pretty good so we're gonna go up here and we're gonna shoot this thing we're gonna talk about it uh, I'm gonna leave a link down below if you guys want to check it out uh, you know I don't want to get too deep into the conversation about this scope or gun yet but Definitely stay tuned and let's get right to this video. Let's take a few seconds and just look at this beautiful gun here that I have. It is phenomenal. It's a 17 HMR Savage. I mean, look how beautiful it is, guys. And that scope on top, like I mentioned, it does look pretty bad, but for lack of better words, or badass if you want to say it, that thing is sweet looking. Bought it at Walmart for around 250 bucks. I think it was like 237. Of course, with tax and everything. But man, thing's nice. Now this is the brand of scope. There is the name, Bayuchi Rifle Scope. I can't say that it would not be good on a rifle. I don't know for a fact. I've never put it on a rifle with a lot of, um, you know, kickback, percussion, whatever you want to call it. So I don't know how good it would. I know that on my 480 Ruger, I put a scope, a lower powered scope that was supposed to be pretty good and it blew the reticles right out of it, glass and all. So, you know, it just depends on, I guess, if anybody's tested this. I can say that I have not. I would say it would probably be okay on a rifle, but you know, I don't know for sure. Now you can probably tell it's, it's raining a little bit. So that's why I decided to shoot today. I figured nobody would be up here and I was right. So this where I'm at is a 50 yard range and a 100 yard range. I'm gonna sight it in at 50 yards. And this scope is a bullet drop compensator. So hopefully, um, well, hopefully it'll work. I don't know. I've never shot a, a scope like that. So we're gonna see, we're gonna sight it at 50 and then take a uh, target up to 100 and see, just to see. And um, yeah, the scope here seems to be, it's beautiful, crisp and clear. It's got a lot of power to it. And when you dial it in, it, I, I mean, it looks great. Let me set the target up, go down range and get ready to shoot. Now I've never had a uh, 17 before, but look at that thing. That's pretty funny. Wanted, opossum, last scene, playing dead. <laughs> pretty neat. So what I've got is the BNT 17 HMR polymer tipped. I have some full metal jackets. And then I have some game point uh, jacketed soft points. Now my preferred bullet, I think, for me anyway, is gonna be this polymer tipped one. Um, I don't know, something just always tells me that these are gonna be better. Now, maybe not, so. I'm gonna side in for these and then I'm gonna shoot these and see how it goes, so. Without further ado, guys, let's get to shooting. Okay, because I'm old, I like to wear earplugs and earmuffs, so don't judge. I'm using the shoot and see so I can see if where I hit and then a big old piece of cardboard on top of that so I can make sure that uh, if I miss the shoot and see that I have, you know, a judgment of where I'm hitting, so let's shoot. All right, I can't see, so I'm about to walk down there, unfortunately. Well, if it's one thing I can say, I didn't hear the gunshot at all. These earplugs are pretty good, of course. So, hopefully, I'm on at least the cardboard. <laughs> we'll see, because it doesn't look like I hit the uh, target at all. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty low. <clears throat> right there. So we'll move it on up a little bit and uh, reshoot again. All right, second shot right there. I think I'm gonna leave the uh, camera down here so you can see when it hits. I think I'll get in on the target this go around. So let's try and see. All 
All right, looks like seven shots. I got it pretty well dialed in. I'm going to use these to cover it up and uh, make sure that it is pretty well dialed in. And then I'm going to try the other ammo. No need to show you guys, but uh, I just want to talk a little bit more about the gun when I get her dialed in. Now, you may or may not remember about this stuff here. I found so much of this again in the trash can. I don't know why people throw it away because you can buy paper plates. And I'll show you here in a second and make your own targets but when you're sighting a gun in obviously like i'm doing it's best to um have a big cardboard like i got so you know where it's hitting but let me show you uh how i make my own targets when it's all said and done now these are bent a little bit but you put a couple clothespins on it and you know it's ready to go I think I'm done for the day, so what I've got, I've got this thing dialed in pretty well at 50 and 100. I'm finally hitting straight through the center, and the ones that are not are just slightly off. So this is a very, 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 I mean, accurate gun. I think the more I shoot, the better it's going to be, obviously. You know, it's just the way it goes. But just look at this, guys. This thing is so, so beautiful. I mean, damn. I mean, it shoots flawlessly so far. So I have nothing bad to say about it. It's just so, it feels good in your hand and it looks good too. And that scope, I believe, is a good scope. So I'm going to get my uh, targets now. I'll show you the uh, accuracy of it. Like I said, 100 yards did very good. The chances of me ever shooting 100 yards is very slim to none because I mean, only place I had to shoot 100 yards is pretty much here. This is how I dialed it in. These are the polymer tip. I've tried the full metal jacket and they shoot almost identical. So I don't think, you know, today I'm going to shoot anything else. Uh, let the barrel cool off, clean it, and then uh, use it. But let's look at this grouping. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. What do you guys think? I mean, you know dialed in I believe I believe it'll be enough for a squirrel you know or a coyote or a groundhog or whatever I decide at least 50 yards well not quite the video I wanted to get I wanted to take it down to the farm there and shoot you know even a little longer distance just to see but I got it dialed in today we're gonna come out and shoot it again uh, two weeks from now and I'm gonna have a few more different boxes of ammo and I probably won't record that but I will be using those polymer tip more than likely for or the female jackets for squirrel hunting guys drop me a comment down below if you think that the full metal jackets are better for a squirrel because honestly i don't know there's a lot of videos circulating about what the best ammo is and you know i don't know this is the first time i've ever had a 17 and i think that uh either the polymer tip or those full metal jackets will be probably my choice uh for 22 i usually use stinger so sorry i had to go down the hill I usually use Stinger and they seem to be excellent. So anyway, uh, drop me a comment down below and let me know um, what the best ammo is. If I can find it, I'll get it and try it. Also, uh, links for the scope will be down below. If you decide to buy through Amazon link, it will help my channel and it won't cost you a dime more than it would if you were to order it by yourself. If you want to see what happens next, guys, make sure that you like and subscribe. God bless and we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.